Now in this video we're going to talk about market supply in the short run. The short run market supply curve shows the quantity supplied by all firms in the market at each price when each firm's plant and the number of firms remain the same. So let's go through an example. That's what we do best. For example, let's say that uh, we have a supply, well, in this, in this uh, figure, we have a supply curve for a market with a thousand firms that make shoes or four shoes. So the quantity supplied by the market at any given price is the sum of the quantity supplied by all the individual firms in the market at that price. So the amount that the market supplies really is made up of the supply, the quantity supplied by each individual firm that makes that's that makes shoes in this case. So at a price that is uh, equal to the minimum average variable cost or what we call the shutdown price, some firms will uh, produce the shutdown quantity and some firms will produce zero so like I'm tracing out now some firms produce zero but this goes all the way to the shutdown quantity which is seven and um, at points B, C, and D when the prices are 20, 25, 31 respectively then the quantity may increase like so the quantity produced by the producers or the quantity supplied by the suppliers being increased. So that's that. I oh, also forgot to note that the market supply curve is perfectly elastic. But um, on this topic of short run equilibrium, the short run market supply uh, and the market demand will pretty much determine the market price and output. So in this case that we have here, where demand, where the demand curve intersects the supply curve, uh, we determine the market price and output to be twenty and eight respectively. If I could just finish my dotted line before we start lagging, I don't know why my computer is lagging so much. Each ball. So we're ma really making uh, eight thousand shoes, and the price per shoe is uh, is twenty dollars. $20 per shoe. So let's go through a change in demand. So it's pretty simple. Pretty much if demand increases, then we shift the demand curve right. Uh, so the, pretty much there's an increase in demand brings a rightward shift in the market demand curve. So we go from D1 to D2. And in this case, when demand rises, then the price rises and pretty much those producers that weren't producing anything uh, when it was seventeen dollars they start producing something so production also rises now the opposite happens for uh, when uh, when there's a decrease in the demand a decrease in demand will bring a leftward shift from d1 to d3 so in this case the price will fall and the production will also fall uh, so some producers will decide to stop making shoes or make less uh, less compared to what they were originally making in D1 and that's pretty much what I really wanted to go through in this video I guess I should also go through short run profits and loss so let's just do this really quickly so maximum profit is not always a positive economic profit to determine whether a firm is making an economic profit or incurring an economic loss, we will compare the firm's average total cost at the profit maximizing output with the market price. And there are three possible profit outcomes, and we will go through this in the next video. So uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.